Hey guys, welcome to the video and welcome to my infamous Audi A5. You know, I love bringing you guys great, amazing content for all platforms. Hey, I was gonna start doing something on my B9. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to start doing some things for my 5 B9. It shares the same engine as the B9 A5. So for the B9 owners out there, if you want some love, let me know, let me know, let me know. So to get straight to the point, guys, I'm gonna give you the tricks and the trades. And I'm gonna tell you guys about two hidden functions or rather functions in our car that you probably didn't know about that can help you out a lot. So I'm gonna start with the first function. All right, first function. Okay, don't mind those lights, my car is off right now. So everything's just going crazy. I just have the um, illumination light on. Okay, so the first thing right here, this is what everyone hates. You can be on the phone, you can be in the middle of something, you can be trying to do a YouTube video, you can be trying to do anything and you hear this. The annoying beep. So guess what guys? The only thing you have to do is come right over here to this reset button on your steering wheel and it stops. Simple as that. Sound gone, resume conversation. Thank me later. All right guys, so this second hidden feature is definitely the biggest hidden feature out of this video. And I definitely feel that this feature empowers you to do so much to your vehicle. Some may know about it if you're an Audi tech or if you work for, you know, Audi or Volkswagen, but there's a lot of people who don't know about this feature. So I just want to go ahead and show it to you and at the same time show you the things that you can do with the feature once I open it up. So what you want to do is you want to ensure that your car is off. Once your car is off, are you going to simply do you're just going to get your key and you're just going to push it in to, you know, without stepping on the gas. You want to push it into where you get illumination. I'm going to press that reset button, guys. Turn off that annoying bell. That's from feature one. So since I have an RS nav, like I said, it takes a little bit more time for my car to boot up. But once it boots up, I'm just gonna go right over here to the Audi MMI. And once I click on the Audi MMI system, um, at that point, I got my car on to where it's illuminated. I'm on the MMI system. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step, which is. All right, guys. So what you want to do at this point, now that you have the key and the ignition, um, you just push it in. You don't start the car. Um, make sure it's on radio mode, because when it's not on radio mode, it seems to complicate things. So please ensure it's on radio mode. So as you can see. I have my trunk open, just running, um, keeping my battery charged while I do this. Radio mode, keys in, illuminating just to where the lights come on. And then I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna go to car and setup and I'm gonna hold those down simultaneously. So as you see, I'm holding down car and setup. You see that? Okay. So now that you're actually on this screen, the biggest question is what benefits do I have from being on this screen? So, okay, I'm gonna show you a few of the benefits that I think that you can use from being on the screen. Like I said, your car is basically a computer and this is the body, the HTML to your car. This is the matrix to your car. This is what the dealers, when they make your car, they shoot out signals for what they want to work based on what you have for your car. For example, if you have an Audi A5 and you don't have all of the features like dynamics, they come here and they'll put what you have so you won't waste energy on what you don't have, if you understand what I'm saying. So for example, if I go over here to car and then if I go to, let's say, car function list, this is going to be I don't have parking help one. So if I added that to my vehicle, then all I have to do is click it. You get what I'm saying? If I had that on my on my vehicle. So if I go to, uh, let's say I come over here to car device list. 
So, uh, I don't have a sliding roof. So since I don't have a sliding roof, I don't have that function for my vehicle. I'm not sure why it's not showing a battery. Maybe it's something else that I'm not familiar with, but I don't have a sliding roof. So let's say if I wanted a sliding roof or if I added one to my car, then I just click it. Now I have a sliding roof. Oh, let me make sure I go back to that. Now, then I just click it, then I have a sliding roof. You get what I'm saying? So let's say I go to car coding. So this is going to be updates that when you take your car to the dealership and they do updates, this is how they do the updates. As you can see, it says that my car is a left hand vehicle. It says um, I can change it to right hand if I want to. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go to car device list. So if I go to car device list, I don't have this auxiliary heating. Um, I don't have air suspension on my car. Uh, so basically, this is going to show you all of the functions I have. Like, for example, if I wanted to do a retrofit with um, folding mirrors, then I would basically click on this right here for folding mirrors. You get what I'm saying? So like if I go to brake assist or uh, lane change assist, I don't have that function on my car. So they didn't put that function on my car. But let's say if you do a retrofit and you buy folding mirrors or you buy something that you can utilize in your vehicle, then you will come to this green menu and you at that point would um, just turn it on and it will work for your vehicle. If I had a hybrid or you did, let's say you did a motor swap and you wanted your car to act as an S5 or an RS5 because you did a motor swap, you would have to come to this um, menu and just select it. And whatever you select, it's not gonna harm your car, but it's just gonna send signals as if it's there. I'm not sure if it's gonna cause an error message on your dash, but it will just send a signal for that specific thing. So, you know, so yeah, I, don't, I, I, can, I can dig in this forever. But I'm just trying to give you guys a general idea of why you would, you know, come here. This is, um, you know, you know, I got air conditioned, of course. So, so as I back up and just press return, all I'm doing is pressing return on the MI system. So, if I let's say I went to um, navigation. So at navigation, at that point. Okay, let's say we have the map, all right? So this basically is gonna be the speed and the scroll rate of the map. So if you want to scroll in faster or quicker, you can adjust it here. Or the pixels on how clear and the clarity you want it to be, you can just adjust it here. And you can just um, click on enable custom scrolls and you can just do it how you want if you want it to be faster. The things they don't tell you, right? I hope Audi doesn't come after me for this video. All right, so let's say we go to GPS. So GPS is gonna be the coordinates. Basically, you can find out your, let's say you get kidnapped or let's say you're stranded and they need your coordinates. Hey, guess what? This is a good way you can give them your coordinates. You know, I know there's other GPS systems, but this is just a quick hack and a quick way you can do it. So satellite info, um, basically giving you the satellite info. So basically, I just broke into the matrix of the car. Um, I think it's very self-explanatory. I don't want to go too crazy and spend too much time on this. I think you guys kind of get it. Clicking on radio. It's just showing the different things for the radio. You know, TV. You know, it shows if you had a TV in your car, tuner states and just different variables like that. So, yeah, man, this is pretty much, a, I think, a really good you know, hidden feature that um, people who are really into customizing their cars or want to change the way something is functioning on your car that you can do without an OBD-11 or that you can do without a bag material. And guess what? If you want to change it back, and keep in mind, this is the RS now, but it works the same with the traditional system. If you want to take it back, the only thing you do is you just press the car button right here. Once you press car, it goes back to normal. So you don't have to worry about messing up anything. You can always go back just by holding the two buttons. But 
the this light can't be lit up when you press the two buttons. They both have to be. Yeah. So guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching another amazing video. Bruce Custom Motors. Appreciate all the love and support, all the new subscribers. Let's keep these videos coming. Let's keep it going. Peace.